Alright, so I'm back at it with another video. Today, I'm gonna be doing a transformation on one of my boys that I'd be gonna be putting in. I have no clue what his hair looks like, so we'll kind of see what we're gonna have to deal with. But he is Asian, so all I'm knowing is he's gonna come out with like very grown out hair going straight. I'm probably gonna go with a pretty short haircut just because I know he likes to keep his hair shorter, but I don't really know what I'm really getting myself into with the haircut in general. I get a lot of questions like asking, like, oh, I have Asian hair, super straight, super fine. Fine. how should I cut it I think the biggest thing is choosing the correct style for your head shape and also the barber choosing the right choice of length always make sure you know exactly what style you're trying to style your look into saying like oh I want a medium length on top with a fade like that's not very ideal especially if the barber doesn't fully understand Asian hair because you want to have an exact style that you're styling this into every single day in order to maintain that spiky straight hair Okay, so when I start my day, I usually like kind of choose the tools that I'm gonna use for the day. So yeah, I'm just gonna lay these out so that I can kind of see what we're dealing with. Yeah, so we got section comb, styling comb, vent brushes, clips, and scissors. And now we're ready to start our day. All right, so we're back at 7-Eleven. You already know this is always part of the vlog. Hopefully it's gonna be a part of the vlog every single time. You know, we gotta pick out a couple of drinks for the day, follow me. I'm gonna go with a nice little water today. I kinda want like a, I feel like I gotta chill out on the candy. Oh, I'm gonna get a Tic Tac. Strawberries and cream. Never tried it before, so we'll see. I know a lot of y'all about to hate on me for this, but their chicken wings and their pizza is fire. I really their chicken wings especially. Every time I would get hungry when I was younger, I would always come to 7-Eleven, grab their wings. That breading, that breading is fire. Bag has been secured. Let's go back to the shop. I'm gonna be testing out the strawberry and cream Tic Tacs. Pretty valid. I would say mm, six out of 10. It's just like, I don't really taste the strawberry. It's not valid. Whoa. <laughs> What's up, Rick? What's good? How you been? Say what up to the vlog real What's quick. up, y'all? Ricky's one of my very first clients in LA. So yes, he's been very loyal for a long time. So we're about to clean him up. His Dude. hair clearly got really long. So I we'll see what we're dealing with. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh. Bro, so yeah, just talk to me. Hi, hi, like, how do you want to cut your hair? For sure, get rid of all of this, bro. Like, this bush. like sides yeah. faded? Yeah, yeah, faded. Short? Yeah. Not a bald fade, though, I don't think. So the back here, I feel like we should definitely like either, I feel like we should choose one. Mm. Cause bro, all right, so just to like remind the boss, this guy be hella nervous to get his haircuts, bro. bro. Every time we get a haircut, you'll choose a style, yeah. but you won't be sure. So obviously, okay, so you, you don't really know what you want today. No, I'm gonna just let, you know, the chef do uh, the The chef cook, yeah. the chef cook. Yeah. <laughs> like what we could do is we could go over a sick burst. Meaning like we could go for the sides faded and then leave a little bit of length in the back. So it's not a mullet or anything. Yeah, it's not a mullet, but it's, it's not a curves like yeah, it's not curves. Curve. The okay. structure is like more length in the back. Okay. Now on top, bro, like unless you're like going for this like nah, 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 this. <laughs> <laughs> like if we're not going for this, <laughs> nah, I feel like we gotta go for something a little cleaner. Yeah. I'm saying crop. Crop? That's what I'm saying every time. Every single time. But if you don't... <laughs> nah, let's not lie. I think you crop every single time, bro. Come here and say, oh, the crop today. <laughs> but oh, slick it back. I feel like that's like 2019, 2020 right now. You feel me? But like, are you cool with like the front being square? With texture? Texture for sure. Texture? Yeah, I still don't like a straight line. Yeah, 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 we're not gonna do that. You're cool with the burst? Yeah, burst for sure. Um, I just don't know what to do. Like, I'm gonna go skin on the sides then. Okay. Just low. Yeah. I'll keep it low though. This is like the most popular haircut on TikTok right now, the textured fringe. So yeah, textured fringe with like medium to shorter length fringe in the front. Nice clean burst fade on the sides. Burst fade, I'm gonna probably take it down to like a low skin. And in the back, we'll just probably clean it out, probably with like more of a V shape. All right, so we'll do a quick 360 on Ricky and then hopefully you guys can see the transformation afterwards. So, Yo, tell the camera real quick though. What was like your favorite haircut from me? Favorite haircut, let me see. I think when we went blonde. Blonde? Like, yeah, you cut my hair short. That was when I like really liked the crop. Like you gave me that short 
Wow. So the first cut I got from Jack, like ever, he gave me like a mullet. And then, the yeah, and then I went home <laughs> and my girlfriend was like, no. So she sent me, I went back the next day and he shaved my mullet off. No, I remember, so I gave him a mullet and we were both like, yo, this is fire. Yeah, bro. yeah, we're like, this, this is, is fire. Is fire. This Fire. And then he went home and texted me he's like, bro, my girlfriend hates it. <laughs> so like, these are the areas where I'm gonna use a tension clip because obviously the tension clip is gonna create the best tension for separating the hair. So the side profile here is kind of where I start the base of the graduation. With Asian hair, choice of length is key. So we're just gonna see the roundness right there. Section that out. I'm just gonna cut that out. Wait, so you took off school for this haircut? Yeah, bro. <laughs> No way! Was, uh, dude, dude, you know how I did it, bro? So I looked up like, what are the best excuses to miss school? Oh. Where'd you find this on Reddit? No, no, just like Google. You look it up, and they'll be like, uh, either like health doctor excuse or like a like, family issue. So then my, my homie owns a store, and I told him I was like, I have a job interview, and <laughs> I have to make it. So I came here, I skipped my first day of class. It just shows to everybody like out there, haircut means way more than class. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Class, like you, oh, need, a, you need to get a haircut before that. Stay drip before the class. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna set in his fringe, but like I'm not gonna set it in with the scissors because like like I said with Asian hair, you wanna emphasize texture. So I'm gonna be going in with the texture blade. But what this is gonna do is it's gonna really emphasize texture in the fringe. So from here, just wanna create that guideline. This is gonna set in the entire look from the front, so Pretty crucial, I would say. Once the fringe is set, you're gonna choose your length. Now, this choice of length is key. Say I, I was to go shorter, it's gonna bounce up when it's dry. So you actually wanna go a little bit longer than how you envision it. So I'm gonna go like right around there. Straight, you know? Yeah. So like, if you cut it too short, what you'll notice with Asian hair just sticks out. Okay, so after the fringe length is set, you wanna go right into the guide in the middle, right? You're just gonna go boom. Guide down the middle, second guide. And now what you have is you have a length from the front to work with. So here we're gonna go slight triangular to create that buildup of weight through the crown. So see that you guys already have a nice buildup of weight and you have a guideline to work with. So from there, point cut. You want a point cut so we can exaggerate that texture. As you can see, I'm going with a triangular shape up top, so maximize that volume. I don't know if you guys know, but this man was about to become a barber too. I remember I was cutting Jack's hair one time. You know? he, I feel like I wasn't close enough to tell him that time, but Loki he'll miss Jack my <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> I was growing a mullet, bro. I swear to God, after that, I had a f***ing face. But honestly, it was still like solid. That's why I wasn't mad at it. Like it was a clean haircut, but you remember that, right? You're I like, remember. You had a after the haircut, haircut, after the haircut, I look at them. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he got the buzzer. He went back like, to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then Ricky was like, oh wait, were you growing a mullet by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but be honest. Was there ever a haircut where you got? You went home and you're like, yo, f this guy, boy. My sh up. Oh, I don't. Oh, bro. <laughs> What's up? I asked Jack to give me a design, like some cool like stripes. Wait, when? When? When did I give you stripes? So I asked Jack for a design. And I went home and I looked in the mirror, it was a squiggly line. <laughs> I asked for two lines and he gave me one giant fat squiggly line, bro. Three guard. This is probably most ideal for like the choice of length right now, so we're just gonna debulk the size. <laughs> Also, the reason why I chose to go with the burst fade on Ricky is because I've also I've done this fade before on him, and it just like really complements his head shape. It looks really nice. I would say like the overall skin fade wasn't my favorite on you. Mm -hmm. I like it when it takes a little longer, but the yeah. burst I really like that for sure. So like once like mostly the the foundation of the fade is set in, I'll just kind of like guard play. And just play with the levering because like this is what will get the fade really blurry so like once all the guidelines are knocked down i'll just guard play for a bit just make sure everything looks smooth you know so just go up and down i'm literally going down and then up down and then up down up down up and then it'll just like come up super blurry like that all right, so we're gonna do a little Q&A on the boy. I have some questions for you. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm just like thinking of it now, but. <laughs> <laughs> how is it being an influencer in LA? Like, how was that experience for you? And then transitioning to more of like a creative. It was toxic, for sure. 
toxic. Yeah, when influencing was like my main focus. Why, like, why do you think it was toxic though? Especially at a young age, like when you get that amount of views, say a couple hundred thousand or millions, it becomes like your dopamine. Your source of Yeah, because like that's your career, and your career is based around views. So like one bad video, say your video doesn't get the same amount of views you wanted, then the whole days were in almost. It definitely gave me like anxiety sometimes. You know, you feel like you definitely have to uphold a certain reputation. But I definitely think influencing is great. It's a start, but it shouldn't be your main focus. Like influencing itself you should always have like a different drive yes to it. yes you should have a, like what you offer to the world besides influencing you know so like for me like i want to work into fashion and use like the influencing that i've garnered and use that towards something that's tangible you know something that i could build and grow and like i'm actually just proud of what i do now you know yeah like you're liking you're making yeah. too so i'm like proud to say what i do instead of being like, oh yeah i i make thirst traps or like i do just yeah. like fashion reels you know and so on. so i would say play for the long game instead of the instant gratification from views and stuff like that there's something that people want to see but like was it necessarily what i wanted to make yeah. sometimes not really you know yeah. it's more real it's more real it's exactly. more raw yeah, it's like it's just like yeah. you get to see like who i am as a person and stuff rather than like oh this is how i cut hair and that's it so you said it was kind of toxic being an influencer what would you say some of the toxic things were as like being an influencer like was it the people was it like the attention like what was it for sure the attention like what came with the with the influence of the thing you know i grew up in high school right yeah i see like i'm in the bathroom like using the urinal like some kid would come up to me and take a selfie Oh really? Yeah, like that happened in high school. I saw the kid was like, "Yo, Ricky," and I'm like taking a piss. Whoa. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he got my like, you know, peeing in him. It's like, yo, like some privacy, you know, <laughs> some privacy. Yeah, like so you definitely start seeing stuff like that, and then your life is just controlled by numbers. I think that's the most toxic part. Storing a little bit of Mason's texture powder into the hair. This is gonna kind of like really revive the texture up top. I'm just gonna work that in with a little bit of matte pomade to really finish off like a full enhanced look of texture. I kind of like to use a uh, texture powder and then matte pomade like together so that it can kind of like hold each other down and then like the texture will be like even more enhanced than it would with just one or the other. All right, so we got the final look for Ricky here today. Went with like a nice textured crop in the front textured fringe so that everything can just lay nice and stacked. I'm gonna show you guys a 360 of what the haircut looks like now. I'm gonna show him the back and kind of show him the entire haircut so we can get a reaction too. So before going to 360, I'm gonna show you the final haircut. <laughs> that was straight. No, there's, there's a reason why I skipped school and drive two hours. <laughs> was it actually two hours? Yeah, it was two hours. You drove two hours Whoa. What's up at 8 bro? 8 a.m. and drove two hours. Two hours for this haircut. Just to let the chef Yo, go. Yo, but back here, like, I kind of, like, reduced some of the bulk back here, too. Yeah. So, so it's like a little curve. Gonna, yeah, it's just, gonna, it's just gonna fit nice with your head chicken nuts. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Alright, so, yeah, we're just gonna do that quick 360 montage so you guys can check out the entire haircut, too. I uh, hope you like this haircut. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Smash that Smash like Smash that. Button. that Smash that. <laughs> Smash that. Drop a, drop a comment down below too, like what kind of looks and like what type of content you're looking from this channel too. Hair related obviously, but yeah, smash that like button, drop a comment down below. Sheesh. Sheesh. You cooked it up, bro. Got you, bro. So, yeah, give me your sweater. Yes, we put a little technology into the chip. So every time my Steve goes there, just tap. And shop, go straight to the page, shop baby. Ko, shop, shop Kojita. It's the future, baby. Shop Kojita. Rep, represent. Appreciate you, G. Boys, you're coming through, bro. Always, bro. This is the reason why I let the chef cook, man. Man's drove, man's drove two hours for this haircut right here. And I skipped the first day of school. <laughs> hey, was it worth it, though? 100% every time. Every it was worth time. it. Let's go. Um, yeah, stop by the studio if you guys ever want a haircut too. Shop Kojita. Yes, sir. Just opened up a new brand. Represent. Kojita to the moon. But yeah, guys, I, I appreciate you guys tuning in for this video. A little transformation on my boy Ricky. Came in with like super overgrown hair, so we gave him a nice, clean, cropped uh, burst wave. Yes, and sir. yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, Peace out.